rising freshman at Menlo School. For my starter project, I chose to do the Simon Says game because it was a good introduction to the soldering and the basics of a circuit board. So first I'll do a quick demo of the game. So as you can see, you turn on both switches, one connects to the lights and the other connects to the audio. There are LEDs located under the white buttons. There are two batteries located on the top of the board. Two batteries are, are needed because in order to have enough voltage for the LEDs, together they have a voltage of 3 volts. On the bottom of the board, located here, is the microcontroller, which is the brain for the operation. It contains the program for the game. These two yellow pieces here are decoupling capacitors and they can store power they can they can store power so so that if there is voltage ripples if the voltage ripples won't harm the microcontroller this here is a 10k resistor and it lowers the current this this is important in making sure that the correct amount of current is going into the LEDs this circular black piece is the buzzer and it produces the sound for the game it has a negative and positive end to it, and it works by, there's a metal piece inside of it that vibrates to create a frequency.